I'm Louise Gallagher. I'm a child and adolescent psychiatrist in the health service and an autism researcher at Trinity College Dublin. I'd like to talk with you about managing mental health for autistic people during the COVID-19 pandemic. Autism is a disability that's associated with differences in social communication and interaction, behaviour and sensory processing. Many autistic people also have additional mental health conditions such as anxiety and mood disorders and attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. We're all feeling the effects of this pandemic, but it may be having some very specific impacts if you're an autistic child or adult. Uncertainty is the biggest challenge for all of us, but autistic people really don't appreciate uncertainty and it can increase their anxiety. Knowing what's going to happen can really help them uh, to feel in control of the situation. For children, it's important to create a sense of predictability and using visual schedules can be useful, even if you haven't used these in a while. Try to stick to the same time to get up, eat and go to bed and build some new routines in the day. Some children may resist doing schoolwork at home because they think that just happens in school. So you could use a social story, for example, to help them understand that they have a new routine now that includes doing schoolwork at home. But if it's really difficult, don't sweat about it. Just try to build some enjoyable and predictable activities into the day. If you're an autistic adult, uh, you could also make a schedule or plan to, um, for how you're going to spend your time during these restrictions. Try to stay in touch with friends and relatives by video calling or by phone um, if you can to reduce your sense of isolation. Also, try to avoid reading too much news. The news circulating on social media can be really inaccurate, so try to limit uh, your news consumption to just once or twice a day and use official sources of news. Exercise can be really helpful uh, for autistic children and adults to regulate their emotions. Lack of activity uh, can result in higher en energy levels, more restlessness or pacing, an increase in rituals, irritability or even aggression. If you've access to an occupational therapist, they may help you to, um, with advice or strategies for self-regulation. The public health guidelines allow us to leave home to exercise. Autistic people and their carers will be provided with flexibility if they need to go for longer walks or drives as part of their self-care. If you're worried about being stopped when you're out, ask your service provider to give you a letter describing these needs. If you have additional mental health needs, there are a couple of important things to check. Check if you've got an up-to-date prescription and if not, contact your mental health service provider who can send you one or send it directly to your GP or pharmacy by secure email. If you need to discuss your mental health needs or that of your family member or uh, medications or therapies, please do get in touch with uh, mental health services. The staff will be happy to discuss these with you by phone or if necessary and it's urgent, they will arrange to meet with you in a safe way. Mental health services are operating as near normal as possible, so please do use them. Some support services have been reduced temporarily, such as respite care. This is because uh, the staff in respite care have been redeployed to work in residential services. And I know that families who are affected by these changes have been really understanding. However, it may be stressful, so if you are feeling a little bit stressed, do get in touch with uh, your local services. Remember also that if certain activities like going to the shops with an autistic child are really difficult, there are community supports available and there are numbers available in all local authorities. The advocacy agency As I Am has lots of autism resources for COVID-19 on their website and they're happy to speak with people on the phone. Overall, it's really important to look after your mental health and that of your family member during this time. So there are three key things to remember. Number one is prevention through maintaining a good routine and good self-care and use autism friendly resources for yourself or your uh, family member. Number two is identify any problems and have a list of people you can turn to for help. For example, friends, 
family member, service providers and your GP. And number three, please do ask for help if you need it, whether it's help with daily activities or help in managing your disability or mental health, please contact the appropriate services. There are lists of resources under this video that you may find helpful. Thank you and I really hope that you and your family members stay well during this time.